So the first album uh, yeah, well, was basically set up as a project by uh, Arjen Lucassen. Yeah. Uh, the second album, uh, he was uh, totally not involved at all or less involved? Or he was involved at all anymore now. Okay. And, um, but that, that was still the, the period that you lived in Mexico when yeah. writing the second album. So this is basically the first album uh, that is maybe completely written in, in, in the Netherlands. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. What what does that with yeah with, with songs the, uh, since you can maybe yeah create them more directly with with, with everyone around you is, that, is can, can we hear that or can we feel that I think so um, I think at first what it, what it did make is that we um, because one of our goals for this album was to experiment a lot more with music and stuff so uh, what did happen in the beginning is that we tried like pretty much everything you know we started like just shoving in all kinds of influences that, you know, that went like every other way. Um, but now, when we managed to narrow it down to what we wanted, um, I think the fact that we were here all together um, helped us a lot to, to get that band sound and that band vibe uh, really well in the songs. Because we, you know, before we went into the studio, we could just like gather and rehearse the songs and make sure that we all, you know, got that feeling before we went to record them. So that that became really important, I think, because um, I think it's it's not until you experience playing those songs with the rest that you can actually like evolve into that to that live sound. Yeah. So um, the the. the when recording in the studio, was it all digital, like uh, overdubbing tracks, or maybe did you uh, yeah, yeah, played it uh, as yeah in, in a more live setting, like maybe no, with the whole band? Or no, that, that uh, would that would have been lovely, yeah. but uh, uh, yeah, I think that's 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 very that's very difficult uh, to to find a studio where we're able to do that with the level of quality that we mm. wanted. So we basically just like indeed like did it by parts, but um, that's why it became so important for us to, before that, just like spend, because we spent, I think, like almost a whole month, like uh, constantly rehearsing and, and, and just like getting the vibe there and the songs together. So by the point that we went to the studio, we basically all knew what we had to do and, and how it was going to sound like, so. Yeah, it was actually recorded in a couple of, uh, of studios. I yeah, think, right? yeah. All over, actually. Uh, we recorded uh, the drums in, in Sandling Studios in Rijen, and then um, we did the guitars in, in uh, Graveland Studios in Schraveland, and then some stuff we did at the studio of uh, Jos van der Broek, our producer, in Tilburg, and uh, I'm missing some, but uh, yeah, it was basically like all different places. Well, why was that? Why was that needed to record it in different studios? Well, I think it was also trying to find the perfect setting for every instrument, and uh, and also make it as comparable for all of us as possible. Um, like the drums and, and the string quartet, we also recorded at Sand Lane. It was just basically like the studio with a beautiful live room and uh, really, really uh, top of the line equipment. So that was just like the place to do it. But then like, for instance, vocals, um, it's, ni it's way nicer for me to record them in a setting where, where I feel very comfortable. So we did that at uh, Yosa's studio and uh, it's so basically like a very small, intimate studio that it's like, I don't know, like five minutes uh, away from where I live. So it was very comfortable and very, yeah, very nice, relaxed atmosphere. You know, that you could just like take as long as, uh, as needed and uh, just like revise stuff and take it easy and that's great. Yeah. So. Um, the, the songs, uh, you wrote them with uh, Johan and uh, Joost, yeah. uh, Joost van der Broek. Um, how did, did the process work for you? Can, can you maybe describe the... Uh, the, the interaction between the three of you when, when writing a song. Maybe you have an example of that. Um, well, I think uh, most of the time I would have um, I would have a basic idea that I would work on uh, back at home. I usually like just like take my little keyboard and uh, lay down like a chord progression and some melodies and then record some vocal melodies on top of that and then I would take them t uh, with uh, with Johan and Joost and then we would just like basically like put the basic structure of the song. Uh, together and uh, what we uh, did then was just like take it to the band and then like you know like put it together with the band and rehearse it and make everything that, uh, uh, just be sure that everyone is like you know interpreting the stuff on their own way and doing their own thing uh, that's that's I think basically how it looked like how important is that mix of ideas in, in, in stream of passion uh, I think it's very important because we all have 
very different influences and uh, we all like very different kinds of music and I think it's it's very nice to see that it that it does shine through you know like um, yeah like for instance you have Eric uh, that has a very melodic style of guitar playing and you see all those like arpeggios and melodies and more melancholic playing all through the songs and you have Seifan that has you know like the more riffing and the more powerful uh, style of playing and I think it's very important that that um, I think we managed very nice to like combine all those things and just let everyone like like put their own little uh, little thing in the songs.